Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to use Microsoft OneNote yeah, to manage some of the knowledge and some of the other information for our personnel or also working in a team. Okay, so now, let's get started. Okay, in order to use the OneNote, you need to have a Microsoft account, yeah, and then you access into the OneOffice.com website. And you see here in the list of application we have the OneNote. Okay, click on OneNote. It will navigate you to the OneNote page. Okay, this is the web view, and you can also able to download the application on the mobile or the tablet to work with this. Okay, and in order to download the the, the application on Windows app. Uh, if you are using the uh, Windows 7, you can, uh, uh, sorry, Windows 10, you can go to the Microsoft Store. Store. Yeah. And you type in OneNote. Yeah. So here you, just, you scroll it down and you see that we have the OneNote for Windows 10. Okay. This is free application. Okay. And then this application will be support for the PC and also a mobile device. Okay. And here I already download this application it on my PC and click on the unnote application here. You, you need to sign in into the Microsoft account in order to use some of the functionalities of the OneNote on your PC. Okay. Let's go ahead to enter the account here. Yeah. Okay, and here you can you can see that this the first one. This is the default layout of the OneNote on the PC, and on the top we have a navigation, home, insert, draw, view, have. Okay, and back to the home. On um, in the main main body, we have some section, the notebook, the section, and the best. Okay, so here also this. So assuming this one is a book, yeah, and the notebook here is the name of the book, and in a the section there are some the a chapter in the book, yeah, and the path, yeah. In each chapter, we we'll have a lot of pages, yeah. Okay, okay. So here you can go ahead to create some the notebook. For example, let me do create a notebook here. I will enter it in the uh. Notice, notice man management. Okay, and click on create notebook. Okay, and you can see that I have not created a, a new notebook in notice management. Okay, and then the default section will be created in new section one, and the page will be untitled page. Okay. And let me change this one to the um, project management. Okay. And I can go ahead to add some more session. I will have the uh, sub skill. Okay. And, uh, and I will have the lesson learn. Okay. Okay. So here, for example, I have three sections. And in the project management, I will have the, I will divide it into some other pieces, like um, how to do some the, okay. Uh, the first one I will name this one is initiating. Initiating, okay, and planning. Executing, uh, managing, closing, okay, or something I show, okay, and for soft skill, I will do the same thing, okay, negotiation, uh, uh, Skill to 
Five. Yeah, first let's learn. Okay, project zero one, project zero two. Okay, good. And here for the project management, I can go ahead to create something here. I can enter some tag. This is my tag for testing. Okay, okay, this is belong at the first section. Okay, and I can enter a some session here this is second section this is third section okay and then you can change the position of each session here if you want you can move it move, move it to any location on the path here okay Okay, let me copy some of the text on the internet. Lorem IP shown. Planning. Okay. And when you copy any text from internet, it will save the source, the URL here of the website, the text where you have the copy okay okay and you can make this one smaller smaller okay in case if you want to use the full screen for anything this best you can you see that on the top right hand side here Click on the enter full screen mode button. Yeah. And here you are able to do some detect editing or even do some pencil here to highlight. Just draw it. Okay. Something like this. Or you can use some, some eraser to clear some draw. Okay. You can also and enter some the yeah. Let me enter it into other section. Okay, here. Let me exit the full screen. Yeah. So here I are able to insert some the table. Okay. Number one, name, uh, uh country, note. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And if you want to add some more column or some row here into the table, you can right click on this and select the table and insert above, below, left, right the column or row. Okay. Okay, or uh, in case if you want to delete it, you just select the column and the table and delete the column. Okay, you, you can add first the width of each column here. Yeah. Okay. The not column. Cool. And you can also do some the highlight, make the, make the uh, column title in bold. Or even do some the fill the background in color. Okay. Okay. And then you enter some the text into a column here. Name Chien Wu, country Vietnam. Okay. Love programming. Okay. Something I show. Okay. Vietnam. Love shopping okay something like this yeah okay you can even add another resources like the picture the attachment file or some of the online video okay 
you just click on the online video and then enter some the URL into the pop-up here. Yeah. This year, the embedded content into the OneNote, it will be support a lot of things here for the video, audio clip, and other things. Okay. For the picture, of course, you can in import the picture from the file on the PC, from camera. Yeah, you can just use the camera on the device like the laptop, mobile, or tablet to capture the picture, and then you insert it into the bed. The same thing for uh, for using the or uh, using the image from the online. Yeah, you just go ahead to click on the from online, and then you enter some the URL. Okay. Also the link. You can enter some link here and on yeah and after that you can enter some the text other the alias for the link. Okay. Very good. The same thing. Okay, in case if you want to among people people working on the same uh, the same uh, application here, so you can click on the same button on the menu. Yeah, and then you click on enter the email address. Yeah, so here I have another account and let me type in here. Um, hop on. And, and at outlook.com. And then you, you select the permission. We have to do the permission, edit and view. So here for this account, I will grant the permission you can edit. Click on the save button here. Okay. And then there are an email will be sent to the help file for a URL. Okay, let me open other account in other browser for you to see. Outlook.com. And you see in the in book. It and, and it's still not sending the email to this account. Okay, let me double check it again. Okay, and I can okay, let me copy some of the URL here. Okay. So I didn't see the email. Okay, let me open my OneNote, OneNote.com. Okay, let me sign in. Enter the. Okay, click on set it with me. Okay. You see that we have no list management having status by general. Okay. I just go ahead to click on it to open. Okay. And you see that the notebook is no list management having set up to the account. Yeah. And you can see a lot of everything inside this notebook. Project management, soft skill, lesson learned. In the project management, we have some initiating, planning, executing, managing, and closing. Okay. Click on planning. And in the planning, you see that we have some the text having added here. We have text on the top and on the below, we have the table. Okay, let me add one more thing here. Uh, Danang, Puha, Vena. Okay, Bobby. Ba, I'm Puha, Vena, Maria, Bobby Boy. Okay, cool. And then let me come back to the window application and close this one and scroll down. Okay, you see that here we have the two records having added into the table. in Vietnam and baby baby boy. Yeah. So you see on the right hand there are another thing. Okay. Okay, so you see here we have the uh Okay, so you see here there are some another note that indicate indicates that the, the note from other person, not from you. Okay. Okay. Cool. 
so here I think that's all for today. And I, after if you need this video, you know how to use the one note for Windows 10 to manage some the knowledge and some the lesson learned and other thing uh, in the project or uh, by by personal uh, by yourself. And then you can say it to uh, you can say it for other person to work together. Okay, I hope this video will help you for you. Let me know if you, ha if you have any concern. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.